it's like a, a great, you know, uh, trombone or a, a cello or something like that. It's, it just resonates. It's great to see. It's stimulating to the eye. And if people could get past the idea that art has to be a picture of something and understand that it's really a picture of nothing and it doesn't take anything to look at, you could just, you know, enjoy and play. That's the start. It took me about 10 years of going into performance art, of going into doing collages, of, um, oh, just uh, kind of deconstructing my painting and then trying to reconstruct it and before I began to work in what would say, I would say is non-objective. But I wasn't quite there yet and I, I was doing paintings uh, with rectangular compositions or soft compositions. But I was still thinking of the picture as having uh, something in it. I hadn't quite made the, the leap uh, until really just a few years ago of uh, thinking of, uh, well, I mean, why do I need to put anything in here? Why can't that be? And then I sort of, through thinking of collage, got into, well, why does it have to be a rectangle? Why can't I, I cut a shape? And that's when I started using the styrofoam the insulation, because it cuts very nicely. So I would make shapes, and I began to use recycled construction materials. And I just opened up tremendously, I think, and, uh, and into what I would consider, you know, my, my tour work and begin to speak a language that I always wanted to, which was the language of color. I do think these paintings come out of having manufactured pastels uh, for probably 30, I've been doing it since 1971, so whatever that comes out to be, um, 30 some years, um, that's, you know, it has really influenced my painting today. I actually feel it's, it's kind of helped me unify what I want to put together, because the pastels are sculptural in a sense, and now I'm working even more uh, combining uh, two-dimensional and three-dimensional. This, for me, is a purely visual experience, much the same way you might listen to music.